still have 3D images uh, which are very, you know, provide a very nice depiction of the anatomy, for instance, but we still use very simplified two-dimensional measures to actually take a lot of the diagnostic decisions. So that's already something where we can do a lot more by, you know, exploiting the nature, the three-dimensional nature of the data. And for that we need computers because it's complex data to manipulate. But I think we can also go beyond. I mean, images only provide the picture of the reality now in the minute we are doing the image. But we actually would like to know how this spine will evolve over time. For instance, under different loading conditions or when, you know, with different sort of exercise or with different treatments that we can put on. And those are the, the questions that become more interesting when we talk about prediction and, and change. And, you know, we know we can do predictions of weather and many other things. Nowadays with computers, why we couldn't do that also in terms of health? Now, why it hasn't been done, that's also an interesting question, and is that the human body is a lot more complex than a lot of the physical systems we are used to, to simulate, like airplanes or you know, cars and, and ships, uh, even more complex, I would say, than the weather. And the, the fact is that our body also changes, and we need to model how those changes take place. Uh, and also we want to have not just a generic model of a spine, we also want to have a model of a spine of a particular individual with his or her circumstances, and that makes you know, opens a lot of possibilities for engineering research. Now, we can come up as engineers with very complicated solutions, but what are the solutions that will really make a difference and an impact on the clinics? That's why we need to work very close with surgeons and, and uh, you know, orthopedic surgeons or metabolism uh, clinicians that actually know what are the things that will make an impact in their treatment of patients and in the management of the patients. And that's why this sort of project needs to be very interdisciplinary. So I would say the computers can help doctors and engineers to work together to have more efficient tools to manage uh, bone and spine disease. Um, and that's what we are working towards.